Okay, so this this question, we've got the grid here, and we're asked to draw the graph y equals x squared minus 2x minus 5, with x values running from minus 1 to 5. Now let's just have a quick look at our scale. Here we've got x of minus 1, and up to here the x equals 5. So we need to do it in those points here. Now, the graph is, I'm just going to write it again, put it all on the same screen. y equals x squared minus 2x minus 5. Let's scroll down so we can see what's going on. So our axis just fit on if we do that x and y. Now normally the best way to do this is to draw a table, but I'm going to write up a bit of space. Sometimes a horizontal table, I'm going to do a vertical table, just because that's all the space I've got. And in my table I'm going to have x values and y values. And I'm going to choose minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And there are the values here for x minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now it's usually easier to work with the positive, so I'm going to start here and then fill in my table. And you can spot the answers for y, but you have to be quite smart about it. You can't just assume they're going to be the same number each time. So I like to start with a 0, because the 0 is the easiest one. 0 squared is 0. Two lots of naught is naught, so y value is just minus 5. When x is 1, 1 squared is 1. Uh, two lots of 1 is 2, so we're taking away 2, and then we're taking away 5. So that's going to give us the answer minus 6. Now I'm going to put the x value of 2 into my equation, see what I get out. 2 squared is 4, 2 lots of 2 is 4 again, so I'm taking that away, then minus 5. Now we spot a pattern. Now it's looking like this is symmetrical, so the answer we get for x minus 1, x being minus 1, should be the same as x equals 3. But it's worth doing a couple just to check. It's kind of a good spot, but don't just assume. Just kind of be smart about it and, and, and use the numbers to kind of check what you think is going to happen x equals 3 this time, x equals 3, so 3 squared is 9, 2 lots of 3 is 6, take away 5, so 9 take away 6 is 3, 3 take away 5 is minus 2, so what we think this one's going to be as well. Let's carry on with it. Uh, positive values, they're easier, 4 squared is 16, minus 2 lots of 4 is 8, minus 5, we get 16 minus 8 is 8, minus 5 is 3, and we get 5, 5 squared is 25, take away 10, that's 2 lots of 5, take away another 5, take away 10 is 15, minus 5 is 10, and we think this one's going to be minus 2, but let's check, minus 1 squared is plus 1, minus 2 times minus, well, 2 times minus 1 is a minus 2, but we need to add it, because it's a minus 2 lots of minus 1, a bit complicated, but it's going to be add, bad of being bad, negative, negative, and then we've got to take away 5, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 take away 5 is minus 2, as we expected. Now we need to put these on our graph, so we need to, we've calculated the points, let's plot them, minus 1, minus 2, careful because the horizontal axis goes 2 squares, and that vertical axis only goes 1 square per number. 0 minus 5 is down here, 1 minus 6 is down there, 2 minus 5 is down there, and you can see the graph is starting to look this nice curve shape. Now we can tell it's curved because it's going to be a x squared, uh, 3 minus 2, 4, 3, and 5 all the way up to 10. Now the trick here is you're supposed to join these up with a nice smooth curve, a nice smooth continuous curve. Um, it's a bit difficult on the computer, but let's try. Apologies if I slightly missed the point. Pop like that and there. Oops. You know, join it up with a nice smooth curve, not wibbling like mine. Do it with a pencil so you can rod it out. I go a little bit above here because it's continuous. I can go a little bit above there. Okay? Go back over and check it if you need to.